and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a proper raster heat map here in QGIS. Here I made some dummy data in the format of shapefile point layers in the Florida Everglades. If we go to the attribute table here, we can see that for every ID, I plotted the concentration of uh, nitrogen oxides. So what most people would do is just go to properties and then in uh, symbology, we'll just place heat map. They'll change it to for say magma and then they'll just click apply and then cancel. And you can see that when zoomed out, it looks quite good, yeah, from afar. But when you zoom in, as we saw, it's not very good at all because it changes the symbology. What I will show you how to do is how to make a raster layer for something very similar to this. Therefore, no matter what zoom you're in, you can see it just how the proper heat map is. So the first thing we want to do is make the contours for this heat map. So first of all, you can go to plugins, manage and store plugins, and then press type in contour. And I've already got installed. Just install this contour plugin, which generates contours from point layers, just like we've got here. Okay, and it should come here in the toolbar above, like so. Press it, and then we can select the point layer, which is the NOX. Press the data value, which in my case is mol. Yeah, the concentration of nitrates and then we've got um, various options here we're going to stick with contour lines and then you can change the method like for example here n equal intervals we've got from 0 to 10 in one equal space values but you can also change it so it's different we're going to keep it with n equal intervals okay and then we don't need to apply the colors but if you want to visualize the initial um, results you can do so press add and it will have created a contour lines let's have a look i'll just um make it a bit bigger so you can see and here we go but as you can see it's quite jagged here and it's not very aesthetic at all so to do so we'll do the following we are going to smooth the lines out so they're not that jagged. Just type into the toolbox smooth. Then the number of iterations, how many uh, chunks it's going to divide each line up into. We're going to put six. The offset is how far, how far it has to approximate to the real line. Uh, we're just going to put it to 0, 1, 5 and then click run. And now it's sure created. Go into here. See, it's a much smoother. It's not as jagged as before. Uh, let's say, for example, you, you didn't want to have so many lines. And because this is quite a, a big map where the lines are quite um, big, as in the areas of each area of concentration. But let's say you didn't want to have smallest contours, I should say. Now we could like, for example, just enter in and select them as you can see or maybe not because it's in yellow then the background is also in beige but it has selected all three ten uh, concentration isolines go to the attribute table we can see that all of the the lines are conjoined into one yeah that is to do with how the, the contour lines work if we wanted to separate them we'll just go and do the following. Type into the toolbox, uh, multi-part to single parts, and then just run. And, if we, and then we'll create another layer. If we go to the attribute table for single parts, you can see that for the same index, it has created multiple uh, entries. And now back in the data entry part, we can just go to select, select the smallest or whichever ISO lines you want to delete and then edit and delete selected. 
So all we have to do now is convert from lines to polygons. To do so, type into your search toolbox uh, polygons uh, lines to polygons and then click run and then it created a polygon shapefile layer now finally just to do the symbology go to categorized click the models and then pick for example the magma click and classify and then click OK and there you have it guys a raster heat map that will not change depending on your zoom level if you like this video don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss another video when I upload consider subscribing ciao